Hello and welcome to day 42. It's a bit of a dark day here today. It's uh, now just eight o'clock in the morning, but uh, it's the last day of ifish weather here today in the UK or especially in South Wales. I'm just gonna have a cup of tea. Do you like my mug? I love the 80s. I was a kid in the 80s. And some amazing things happened to me in the 80s. Some amazing things didn't happen to me in the 80s. And the reason I, what I'm gonna talk about today is about stop obsessing about the past. It's lovely to reminisce, but uh, rumination, which is a powerful thinking and, and dissecting and deluding our past can be difficult because we always think about the past in many ways, but obsessively about the things maybe we could have done wrong. Maybe don't go back as far as the 80s. Maybe you weren't even born in the 80s. But despite the fact that we can't change what happens, we stew in those moments, we stew with resentment. We replay conversations, we beat ourselves up and we relive the event over and over again. It happens to all of us and it can be quite painful. What mindfulness does practice, it helps us to see these patterns and respond to them with patience, understanding and loving kindness. But the key to this is to dis dis detach yourself from the situation, from the past, from the memory. And that really unlocks the power within you for you to be able to unlock any issue, emotion, problem, or anything that rises today, tomorrow, or yesterday. So when we have, when we start ruminating, it often shows up with a lot of background noise. And there's a constant stream of obsessive, negative shadowing throughout our day so i don't know i'm going to pick something up now for those of people those of you people who have read my book you realize that i had a very difficult relationship with my mother um a relationship that you know here on the earth plane we never healed and if i look back at some of the things that my mum did all those years ago you know i can really dissect it i can ask questions you know why did she do it and what happens if she hadn't done this and you know, it hurt me and it hurt my brother and, you know, it really upset my dad and, you know, all of those things. And it'll affect me through the day. All day. Well, I used to. When I'd be there and then something would happen and I'd be in that little bit edgy. I'd be a bit more edgier than when I was the day before and somebody would say something to me and I'd say, oh, you don't know what it's like. What do you mean? And that's because I'm harking back and ruminating on stuff that's happened in the past. And I'm projecting some of that anger and hurt and mistrust in the future. And I'm hurting myself and I'm hurting relationships, other people, other than relationships, due to the hurt that I still got inside me for some of the things that happened 30 years ago. So it's really important that we think about our thoughts and to stop obsessing over our thoughts of the past. And a lot of it is to do with loving kindness. Now I know we've done lots of loving kindness, but loving kindness is a real key to live in your life mindfully, to have compassion, love and everything for yourself, but to have compassion, love and empathy for others. And that's an really interesting thing. So what we're gonna do today is, we're going to practice um, how we can calm and call in the inner voice to stop dissecting the things and diffuse some of those historical issues that we've had in the past. So, as always, we're now going to go into a meditative state on day 42 of the Mindfulness Challenge. So, I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to pop a picture up and get myself a little bit more comfortable here. And as always, when we go into the start of a meditation, we're going to allow our body to relax. We're going to use the breath to encourage ease within our body. With each exhale, we soften the muscles of our body a little bit more. We breathe in, we breathe in love, we breathe in joy, we bring in self-happiness. And when we exhale, we let go of 
any negativity or stale energy, but also importantly, we release our muscles to be softened and relaxed. You may bring some special attention to your abdomen, your stomach. Just focus and just breathe in and out of that area. You may bring some awareness or attention to your shoulders and just breathe through your shoulders and just move them around in a circular motion for two seconds. Just feel the beauty of the energy building and the oxygenation of your breath reaching all parts of your body. I want you now to just focus on breathing through your jaw and just give your jaw some over-exaggerated movement, not too far, just enough to stretch it and loosen it. Now look at the thoughts that are going through your mind. If you've been looking back in your mind and going over some specific thoughts. Acknowledge the event or situation about what you've been thinking about. And if you want, you can bring a thought to mind that affected you from the past. And when you bring this thought to mind, this event, Turn it over in your mind. Examine it, look at it, but hold it in a place of curiosity and interest and love and not a place of attachment. In fact, begin cultivating equanimity, looking at it equally through the state of balance and non-attachment. And you're doing this in the midst, possibly, of some charged emotions and feelings. And ask yourself, if you're able to change the situation in the past. And through a mantra, I want you to follow me now for a few moments, where we offer some phrases of equanimity and compassion and balance. And the mantras we're gonna to use today as we breathe in and breathe out are this, and please follow me. I cannot change the past. May I be ease with my mind. May I care about this difficulty. I cannot change the past. May I be at ease with my mind. May I care about this difficulty. I cannot change the past. May I be at ease with the mind. May I care about this difficulty. Breathing in, breathing out from moment to moment. We realize that an mantra says, I cannot change the past. May I be at ease with the mind. May I care about this difficulty. Now I want you to turn your attention toward the present. And although you know that you cannot control the present, you do have the power over your actions right here, right now. And I want you to replace the rumination with recognition. 
recognition that you can from today forward choose to act in a way that encourages happiness. And I want you to offer these, these phrases silently in your head as we breathe in and we breathe out. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. May I move forward. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. May I move forward. Breathing in and breathing out. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. May I move forward. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. May I move forward. Now I want you to continue these phrases for a couple of moments, a couple of minutes. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. And may I move forward. And at any moment you have a thought that comes in your head, you let it in, you accept, you acknowledge it, and you let it move away, and you come back to your mantra. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. May I move forward. And if you have a thought that comes back from the past, And when rumination recurs, I want you to return to the phrases of your intention to move forward within this meditation or outside of this meditation. Simply offering yourself the phrases in your head. May I act with wisdom? May I respond with compassion? And may I move forward? Practice them now for a few moments. May I act with wisdom. May I respond with compassion. May I move forward. Now taking a deep, deep breath in. May 
as you breathe out, you feel so calm, so relaxed and so present in the moment, knowing that you have the ability and the power over your actions right now, which can help shape the history and move the future. And whenever the mind falls into the pattern of thinking about the past, just offer a phrase of balance, equanimity, and a wise action. I'm empowering you now to act with wisdom, to respond with love and compassion, and importantly, from this day forth, for you now to truly move forward. But move forward using all the tools that you've learnt, that you've experienced through mindfulness and life. Because now, more than ever, you have the ability to act with wisdom. You have the ability to respond with compassion. And you have the ability to move forward. But you also now have a deep understanding of your love and compassion for yourself from within. You know now that in your inner soul that you have wisdom, that you have compassion and that you can move forward with love and kindness for yourself. You're offering yourself the act of wisdom the response of compassion and the ability to move forward. Shine that light in all of the chambers of your heart. Shine that light in your soul. You are a special, special person. You are a special, special light. You are unique. You are not one of billions of people on this earth. You are special, you are unique, and you are here to live a life with clarity and purpose, with balance, with happiness, and with the tools and the opportunities for us to move forward in a life that has ups and downs, but not just for you, but for me and billions of others too. But we can now go forward and we can act with wisdom. We can truly respond with compassion and can we can move forward. Even when the mental narrative talks about the past. We can look at the past. We can separate the experience with the emotion. And we can breathe through the fact that I act with wisdom. I respond with compassion. And I move forward. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. It's a beautiful meditation. And it's one I think that is so meaningful because, you know, some of the biggest challenges to mindfulness or for us to be in the moment is that we worry tremendously about the future. Everyone does, especially now. We dissect the past because, you know, at the moment with everything that's going on, we're a little bit more reflective. But we're a little bit more reflective of compassion. Oh, should I have done that? Oh, maybe. But what we go into, we go into the self-blame game and we don't want that. You know, we don't want the self-blame one way and we don't want too high ex expectations the other way. So we beat ourselves up again. Oh, I was going to do that today. I never did it. Oh, I'll tell you what, you're rubbish. I'm never going to get through this. How am I going to get through this? Stop doing it. If that happens, breathe and offer compassion to yourself. Breathe and offer a few moments of breath for you to be able to recalibrate and come back into the moment to say, I've done something today. It may not be as much as I wanted to do, but I've moved forward and I've learned something and I'm treating myself with compassion. In other words, 
I've acted with wisdom, I've responded with compassion. And no matter if it's a single millimetre, I've moved forward. God bless you. Hand on your heart. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. And I'm going to look after myself today. And I'm going to smile and help myself to act with wisdom, to respond with compassion internally and externally, and for me to move forward. Thank you very much for watching day 42. Hmm. I wonder what day tomorrow is. We know it's day 43. It's a Friday here in the UK tomorrow. And the sun's back out again. So we'll spice it up and have a bit of happiness. Have a lovely day. Take care. Be love and give love. And if you can leave a comment or if you can share or if you can, whatever it is. I know we tried each one, each one. If you can post this onto somebody's, uh, get the link and post it onto somebody's Facebook timeline. It would be amazing. If 50 people did that, then another 50 people would do that. Well, we know all about how things can happen when we contact each other. We are all innately connected. And if there's one thing this virus has shown is we are all connected. Take care. Be love and give love. See you soon. Bye-bye.